everybody. Hey guys. Didn't warn me. Well, you said it, so I did it. Yeah, probably not. Let us know if you guys can hear us okay. We did mess with our sound setting, and it looks okay on my end, but as we know, that doesn't always mean much. Yeah. Much of it. It also looks like we're in two different rooms the way our cameras are hitting the walls. <laughs> it just, because I have that gray background from the here. Curtains. The curtains, then you got the white background, the way the light's hitting. It almost looks like we're in separate studios. No lag, no, F, no audio issues. Woo! Woot! So we fixed the lag by instead of trying anything fancy, we just plugged all the hardware into my computer. <laughs> That's a mess. I'd have a little snack. I haven't had lunch yet. I and I know Kai's going to the store. Are you getting anything good, Kai? You did, but I had to find creative ways to do it. Because with we had to rearrange our desks. We put up a sound divider. I had to get specific cables to run certain devices from hers to mine. Yeah, I, I think that's part of an issue with the way it's connected. There is a little bit of static the way I heard it, wow. and we are going to be working on it, but it didn't sound too bad, if I recall. I know nothing. I wasn't here while he set it all up. Which made it more difficult. That's about to work. So, um, what's it called? Apparently sure the people who make our microphones make a USB device with an XLR port. You mean so that we could put it in here? Either that or we could put it over there for when we move a mic over there for the other stand. Remember how we were talking about how we have the mic stand with the XLR cable? Yeah. I mean I do remember if I had I don't know what we were doing. I didn't either, but while I was looking up guides for our microphones today. Also, there's an app. Kitty! Can... Hey, kitty! There is an app I can install on my computer to mess with the USB mic setting. So I might be able to just do that without buying any additional hardware. Get your food, Kai. Go get your food. Get something good. I need more tea. I got a pop stuff. So I'm so excited. I put your, um, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I put your diet cook in the fridge. I thought I put my diet cook in the fridge. No, it was in the bag. Yeah, and then it was sitting here and I just put it. Nope. He did not kill me. But he thought he did, at least. I like the ocean, but I don't like the ocean on my people or my weapons, I guess. I like, like, shell furniture, like, from, like, AC and H and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not real big on having the ocean floor above the ocean. I'm weird. Well, it was there and you moved it because we had to put it. I don't know where you put it. I was trying to take it, but you took it. And boulder holders. They were they're supposed to. So what you been up to, Kitty? 
thought you were playing with that. Lost Castle? Yeah, like that. Five minute warning. Five minutes! Oh, I have a bottle up ten. Or five. Good. Don't mind me. My brain five was already five burned. Five yeah. Maybe. Brain's already been burned out. So. so, this is a rare stream because Faye is actually able to get done work prior to the Asha stream going live. It's two o'clock here. Eleven a.m. in Pacific time. That's not like you to fail at the No Man's Sky Expo. You see these cool, like the way that they did the different horn types for us? I did. I think that was a um, community suggestion. It could have been concept art. I haven't tried the new I'll, one yet. I saw some of the stuff you were sending Faye, Kitty. I really like the crochet stuff you've been working on. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh, well, they probably did that because they probably had a bunch of the guys who like to play that hard mode complaining that they never do an expedition with that, so. Oh. I, f I forgot to put it on social, but I made a new um, necklace, Kitty. I don't know how well you can see it from the webcam, but is yellow and blue I was trying for gold but i didn't get well, that's as far. close that's as close to gold as you can get without having that metallic wire stuff stick all over and that's not a <sighs> reading some of the official chat is silly Foaming at the mouth right now. Three more minutes. Right. See, look, someone else is still a video behind. Yep. Yay, it's not just us. It happens. And I really wasn't that hyped about the event. I mean, everyone's got one. Fate, there's world fights, so it didn't. That's the... That's all Was that the last one? The last one. I mean, watching we'll it might change out. my mind, but... Oh, I, forgot I know this one's somebody. supposed to be environments or something. I forgot to message somebody. I have a big announcement. Oh, I better message him. You should know exactly who I'm talking about. Yep. But do I know who I'm talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I really like this, um, that's the way that the, uh, character sheets. It, it looked like something for D&D, &D, though. It did, but I like it. Of course, it's a little busy, but on our big screens, it would... No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Small screen, it might be a problem. Why am I using Discord on my phone? I know why I'm using Teams on my phone. I was playing a little bit of a Hell Architect. But now I've been playing Nino Kuni. It's addictive. Oh, I forgot to do any of our socials. Oops. We got Discord <laughs> going. Woo! Discord! That's all we need.
Yeah, it's it's out now on mobile, but you can play it on the PC, Kitty. You just have to, uh, you kind of have to like register your account on the mobile first. They they do it step by step, and it's pretty simple. So once you do that on the mobile, then you can play, then you have the the uh, the PC browser version launcher whatever. You have the Steam version. It's on Steam. Wait. You went through the hard Damn, mode and there's a Steam version? Apparently. Whatever. It's beginning! I'm playing the Nino Kuni Cross World, so is that is that what you have on Steam? Here it goes. I kind of turned down my... Salutations and welcome to our glorious Ashes of Creation May development update. We hope everyone is well and safe. Yeah, that's what I'm talking been, about. Uh, that's what I'm a good about. time. I know on our front we've been busy bees as per usual. I'm sure you oh, all, no. <laughs> as we say every month, we're like in shock that a month has passed. Um, <laughs> but with me, as always, is Stephen Sharif, our creative director. And of course, I'm Margaret Crone, your community marketing lead. And today we'll be going over a whole slew of things. It's going to be a little different. Uh, it's going to be very art heavy, as you can see in our art heavy. topics. I cannot, I cannot tell you how excited I have been for this. You've been show. really excited. I mean, I, like every day that passes, he's always excited uh, though. Watching the tech continue to get refined and the environments continue to get these passes, and I'm just talking to the team and like, holy smokes. How are you guys doing these things? It looks so good. Yeah, the oh my gosh. I mean, we'll be sending lots of thanks uh, in in the future here uh, over the stream. I don't know if you can top the elves. Has been doing crazy work. There's a little internal competition from the character creator to the environment art team. The best, the best kind of competition. <laughs> we want uh, we want the devs to be in competition. It's it's who can one up the other in the amazingness <laughs> category. 100%. We have, we have a good time. It's all in good fun. Um, but of course, we have some quick reminders. I will try to be quick with them, of course. And then we have our studio update. We just like to give you guys some info on what's going on and give you a little behind the scenes infos. And then, of course, we'll be going over environment art update, which is going to be the big uh, piece of information for this stream. And then we do have some character art updates. Yes, how are you doing? Yes. With you all. And then we'll wrap up with a Q&A, of course. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. You guys have submitted. Hey. So thank you to those of you who have participated. He's tired of looking at his butt. He's going so switch to look at face. They can't look at mine. Oh, yeah. Forgot. You guys want to see all and the cool stuff, you're seeing my face, not my butt. So yep. I better take that off. Huh? YouTuber subscriber comment here, which is from Dan Duffy. And, of course, if you want to be the person who How are you doing, Kiss? I hope everything's going good. Leave a comment on Probably hot as hell down there. Button. Probably. And it's, it's, uh... And, of course, you have to be subscribed to our channel. It's humid here. Okay. Hey. say, hey, guys, I have a question about large-scale sieges and raid groups. In the majority of game modes of this of this scale, there's very little meaningful communication or tactics among players. Right. It often degenerates into random death balls. Uh, doing. It's when we were gonna be doing the the slip where you guys could slip the screen to see me playing or him playing, oh. uh, which I don't think we're we're gonna be able to do until we get new video cards. Systems and higher. Then we're gonna implement that again. But right now. Make decisions and communicate. It's too rough. Uh, them on the fly in combat. If I had a dime for every time I was in an MMO with a raid shot caller that was screaming at fifty other people <laughs> <laughs> to do certain things as this hectic ball of raid just ran into each other, I'd have a few dollars. Um, but uh, that's a good question, and it's at the forefront of a lot of our administrative tools and functionality that we want to incorporate, both from a UI perspective. Um, as well as from a voiceover perspective, from an indicator in the world with um, uh, location markers, with uh, symb symbols you can use above target heads um, uh, for granting administrative functions on the VOIP in, in raid and in party. Um, there's a lot of things, <coughs> excuse me, 
that we want to do um, from our experiences as playing these games in the past and, and sharing that kind of experience. Well, will it um, be enough for us to actually use that. the and a big portion voice, of these systems are going to be coming. No, we never do. We never do. Um, so it's important for those of you who are participating and testing in Alpha 2. But I think if we're doing a big on those systems to raid that's not just the all the same guild. Different types of experiences, or at least streamline them into a not so chaotic topic. environment. Um, uh, but it is something that we're focusing on for sure. Yeah, I'll just listen. I won't have to talk. You know, our UI team will work on a lot of cool tools for develop or for you guys to utilize. I'm sure when when design gets their hands on all. How oh, I used to do. Of just... course, uh, as always, we have our cosmetic swap over that will be happening on June eighth, twenty twenty two, at eleven a.m. Reminder that these help us build and shape the oh, world. Okay. All the variants made from these sets. You'll see them in game as NPCs, as creatures, as buildings, etc. And I mean, you see that in every one of our development updates as we showcase more and more of the game. And we have okay. our dev discussion, which is which systems do you feel utilize RNG the best? Where do you feel RNG does not belong? What RNG based systems or features have you enjoyed the most? And of course, our next one is going to be on time d dedication. So if you have thoughts on rng which i know y'all yeah. do because every nerd does we we love and hate it at the same time but there's a place and a time for rng um and we i agree that rng does not belong in crafting and upgrades yeah and then of course last but not least uh just a reminder that if you are a content creator we do have a content creator program it is still in the application phase we will let you know when that closes and when we begin the invitation phase uh, but if you're curious about that, you can find all that information over on our site. Yep. And right there. Answer your question as well. Perfect. And without further ado, we're, 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 we're all so way too small. We're also way too small, so we're not. We're not. Studio still updates. Oh. We have been on a hiring extravaganza. Um, I, I know I've said this probably in the last three streams. St stream streams. Uh, three, three last three streams. Uh, but our HR team and our internal recruiters, Cameron, Stacy, Midori, um, they are doing a phenomenal job in, um, in guiding the troves of applicants we've had to the studio uh, through the interview process. And um, I, just this week, we had five people start on Monday. Um, and I believe they, they are amazing, top I can, but at the same time. With incredible amount of talents. Um, and it is so good to see our team continuing to grow. Um, obviously, Ashes is a huge project, and we need as many of the talented people out there in the development world as we can get. And it's just so nice that I can move to so Cali. Helping us from the right? perspective, sharing the sharing our um, I don't know about moving to Cali. Yeah. That we send out oh, you gotta tell them about your new team helps Sunday with, project um, with the recruitment message, and shoot that out to other oh. people who you know in the industry are are extremely talented. Um, so that's going very well. Uh, we are very close to getting our graphics done. Trying to let out my secrets, the of the studio and getting the uh, logos and Just the trying 3D, to share our um, wall updates. mounts and stuff implemented across the studio. Um, that's going to be very soon. Um, I've got to do it more than once before. Stephen's already got there because you know sometimes oh, right. sometimes you start something and you think they're gonna keep doing it. It doesn't happen, guys. It's a very it's a very good touch. With human. Even though those people are. Uh, but anyways, um, yes. Yeah, so and it sucks to be human. Really good on the studio front. My and orchid has all... bloomed. Oh no. Not yet. That's sad. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Oh, well, that's why I have to go progress in the office. We, we do have some cool art uh, that we picked out for all the different spaces too, which I'm excited to see come to fruition. Yes. And that means I can bring back the dev diaries, which I hope folks enjoy. It's kind of like a little peek and insight into, you know, all the people that work here and what we do and what we create. And with that, I think we're on to the big the big portion of the stream, which is the environment oh update. Goodness. Do you want to play a little <laughs> right, Kitty. cinematic first? I'm like, no, I don't want to talk Maybe about it yet. Do the little, and then the do a little cinematic. chat. We could totally do that. Okay. But let me just give a real quick preface uh, to, the, to the teaser, and then we'll talk about it. So we have two videos for you guys today. Yes. We have an environment Woo! update for Alpha 2 showcasing the Riverlands. Ooh, Mile. I love Riverlands. Um, this is a major area I think in Alpha ours 2. Is you the might river. see some Mile. boats in the awesome. game. You might see some new creatures. You're going to definitely see some weather. You're going to see some seasons. You might see some transitions. Awesome. Here's what I will say to you. I have 
uh, and I'm not trying to hype this. I'm just I'm trying to just <laughs> give just you so my excited. authentic feelings on it, right? Okay. <laughs> Um, I love every day my job, coming to work here, being with other uh, amazing, Nerds. talented developers Nerds. Who, are, who are creating many of our dreams um, in what Ashes of Creation is trying to achieve. And so much of what makes an MMO a good MMO is the gameplay. I mean, you can have the best that part game is, out there. All Steven has to say good, is pretty pictures, sense, and that will build hype. With, the economy you can't whatnot, not make like, hype. all of that right? goes to waste and at the same time you can have a game that has amazing systems and has amazing um gameplay and and that can keep a game going for a very long time but if you also have with that beautiful sceneries and immersive world environments Isn't and new awesome DT just to play yeah. the way we want to and just stuff that brings you we already the world, that though that's like the holy grail right that's and especially if <laughs> someone in chat just said this makes me horny doesn't put in pay to convenience or pay to win items you're like oh my god we've done it like you know, <laughs> we built it they will come you know that is Here's the, the kind thing of like from our perspective that is what we want like me and yes, steven and the team yes. like all of us want that like yes. we yearn for an mmorpg where we can just enjoy the systems and the gameplay but also Absolutely live in like love the art like so much that we're like we want to live there i think at one point steven was like can we move there <laughs> yeah i know right no abs absolutely and so yeah. so before we show this little video you're gonna see a, a preview of the riverlands biome and then we're gonna have a 30 minute long uh dev chat a d developer chat 30 minute um, where myself chat. uh our lead environment artist our senior technical artist 30 uh, minute chat y'all uh, one of our very amazingly talented environment artists uh james as well we chat about what goes into making seasons and weather. And and weather has been done in a lot of games, right? We've mm -hmm. experienced like, you know, snow and rain and thunderstorms and and they're really cool like um, uh, breaking points between the norm and an environment you might have. But what the environment team has developed from a technology perspective um, when it comes to these biomes, these environments and how they permanently change and how that change can be dynamic pretty much how it's affected with video system with video the chat and a chat of goods in the world how it <laughs> chatception um, changes skill interactions how it can affect how chatception would be is if i had the screen is not full screen and they could see chat in chat and chat and that's that true that we are striving to achieve and this discussion today is going to be about the immersive looks of it and we'll talk a little bit about how it interfaces with the systems but really it's going to be to show you something that you probably haven't experienced before in an MMORPG to this quality and to this effect. So um, and that's, if you my, that's my preface. watched our event stream uh, yes, uh, from yesterday, <laughs> it feels like yesterday, last- I want immersion! We talked a little bit about yeah, I want how the the night, that night looks can sick. interact with events and sick. Game I hope that event right? sick, if like the good stuff. If you didn't get to watch that, I you know recommend watching that after after the stream. Um, as another option for it you doesn't on our YouTube channel, because we do go way more into depth on that system as well. Do it now! So, yes. uh, without further ado, we'll play a little cinematic, and we'll see you after that. UE5. E5. I get better with. They might actually give Soka a run for his money. What, with the music? Yeah. Alpha 2 seasonal and weather Um. Uh, five star. Oh, oh. Those render textures. We definitely. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna go through this again, kidding. Through the fall. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cute little fire foxy.
Apparently the bears turn different colors. They have pirate ship. Love the deer. Horn toad. Stag toad. <laughs> That's a big old Stag a moose toad. <laughs> I think being able I know they haven't shown a whole lot about their seafaring stuff but I think with the way those ships look they're the the seafaring is gonna be pretty cool too salad fork toad you right spork toad fork toad oh those are cute those are cute kitty cats Ooh. they're adorable Oh, look at the mushrooms! Oh, cardinals. I want him! So cute! Oh! And he changes colors. They change colors according to the season. That is so awesome. Oh, wow. Oh my god. And just the trees actually losing their leaves. Wow. Oh, I am still getting goosebumps just the watching it. The first time <laughs> this was played, not gonna lie, Gasm. teared up. Like uh, we, we got to see I, this I, like I a couple months scared. ago when <laughs> we were um, watching it for our internal town hall it, and it, it was it made a lot of people emotional like we were all crying it, it, it's it's <laughs> chilling it's yeah. chilling to see just the quality i mean you, you i don't play mmos that look like this and that have these type of systems so okay next video we're gonna show you get is, to see the walkthrough of this like yeah yes, sure, we're cinematic we're is beautiful to... people can make cinematics look great but like watch like you're gonna we, see this like in game we're you're gonna go through in game right now and you're gonna watch the walkthrough okay just to preface <laughs> i i have god controls when i am driving this okay so i can access the console i can rapidly change the weather i can create uh, seasonal changes. We speed up the transition so that you get to see what it looks like when the world transitions in these biomes from one season to another, and then when weather events occur and how those weather effects um, happen. So you're going to watch that for the next 33 minutes. I want to emphasize something very important. This is the tech that's servicing Alpha 2, and that means that there is still a ways to go from both a quality perspective, a performance Not perspective, even and a detail perspective. That's right? like, that's what we're gonna polished, play uh, in Alpha yeah. 2. And, and there is still right? so much more to do. If you've been following the project for a while now, you can go back, take a look at our early videos, and you can watch the progression of these, of these things over time. Um, <clears throat> but Alpha 2 is really going to be something else in how this system interfaces with Not. other game systems, what? other mechanical Sorry, components that you as players oh, Sounds like there's still Alpha 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm like, visual oh. change that they, they're a symbiotic kind of relationship. The art and design, they live together. You want to, you want to um, telegraph these events through more immersive means, such as weather systems and seasons, so that players are indicating I mean I've seen weather but there's not there's not seasons to that degree my crops on my freehold I wonder what the world cycle is going to be for a season yeah that'll be in um are my skills and abilities going to be affected by um how the weather is is currently um uh present decrease fire damage during rain yeah that's building but I think you guys are going to enjoy uh, this one other thing or fizzles uh, you can't even get it off the, you guys saw the vet I have a problem getting the heart fireball out their, uh, concept this is something we additional we'll damage future, during rain while casting ice spells too. um we wanted to uh put right kitty that's just is crazy rain. um the vec is still getting implemented though in the game with some of the uh um uh some of the clothing sets and some of the uh armors um so that stuff's still getting touched up be aware um but otherwise, I think you guys are going to enjoy this. All right. And I know I did see someone say they would like to see the video in 4K. We will have mm. the cinematic as well as this walkthrough or uh, this chat, that, this developer chat, um, over on our YouTube channel at Max Red Legion. So if you want to go watch that. Um, right after the stream. Yeah. Yes. We will have it available. We'll see that 4K. Sure.
without further ado, shall I play? Enjoy. We might end up watching it just in the 1440. Amazing. <laughs> Someone's just like, I'm not crying, you're crying. I got cheery. I didn't cry, but my eyes did. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another update with Ashes of Creation. Right, Rocky? I would say. Rocky! A special one. I am joined by three amazing artists. Love back. Uh, our lead environment artist, Tristan Snodgrass. Hey, Tristan, how you doing, buddy? Hello, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Now, this is, is this your first recording? Even though you've been with us, you've been with us since the beginning. Six years yeah. ago. Almost, been up since right? like did you just tune in, Rocky, or did yeah, you see the cinematic? I've ever actually been on any of the live streams. Outs so. Outside of our, our studio tour, where I think I think we had one where you were a sriracha bottle. Sriracha <laughs> bottle? <laughs> For Halloween. That yep, that's correct. Uh, um, but yeah. I've been mostly behind the scenes, behind all the cinematics. And that's all. right. I, I think our community often asks where Nodes 3 is at. Because <laughs> oh. one time, I remember I was at that, I was at that, we were at that panel at PAX, and people were like, when's Nodes 3 coming out? And I'm like, Tristan's Correct. back at the studio, and <laughs> he's editing. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I remember that, and I was like, yeah, that's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, <laughs> kidding. Like, we decided to go a different direction. Uh, no, but <laughs> we'll have Nodes Part 4 here soon, anyway. There you so. go, we're just going to skip three. Um, and then we also have. I just love that the trees are just like all bare. Because usually, you know, in games, Hello, Hello, all the ch welcome, tail end of it. Welcome to the to the show, sir. This is also your first. Time usually, trees, trees, trees and games are of, uh, trees. They're they're either pine trees or they're regular some type of trees, and they don't lose their leaves. Making sure artists have their tools that they need, all the fun stuff. So that means I just have to change the trees in the <laughs> running, yard all the time in Final Fantasy. In this game, our trees will change on their own. Um, right? We also have an, uh, one of our environment artists. And that's okay, Rocky. James We're actually going to be Krowski? taking Krowski? this reaction video and yeah, putting it on YouTube Krowski. tomorrow. Krowski. Yeah, so you can watch the full thing you, um, on our YouTube well. channel it is with yeah. the we full cinematic. New, new and you can also watch their cinematic on their official YouTube channel in 4K. This video is all about showcasing. Get that up. What everybody here is going to see here is something I don't recall having ever played a game where this is. They a have game. weather. Have you guys ever played but a game that has had so these much. features we're about to see? Not that I can recall, no. Um, I mean, I can't even think of a single player game that does this. That's, totally. yeah, that's, that's a what good I was point. trying to think of. Too. I was trying to I think of like think a of single player, player game RPG. that had done this, and I'm sure our community is going to be like, oh, you know, they had weather here or there. But this is more. Is than there weather more in Horizon right. Zero Dawn? Yeah, I right. think it's been done to a much. Stardew <laughs> Valley is not an RPG. Stardew doesn't count. I feel like we push the envelope quite a bit here. Yeah, it's Stardew and, Valley. Well, actually, so the, the, video, the, their graphics aren't even stream, right. The teaser that kind of goes through and and shows the cinematics in the right? in the game. Legend uh, of Zelda Oracle right. <laughs> seasons. So I guess that know, counts, Chris. Oh, it's, it's welcome, welcome, Trish. Trish shows up and sort of the butt bot. Yeah, the butt of butt duck. Season Woo! <laughs> that changes the state of the world across our biomes. Good uh, scene, Chris. Are we, in right now? we are currently in the Riverlands biome. Which uh, is the, uh, one of the this is Riverlands in winter. Alpha yeah. Alpha two. Alpha two. Alpha two. Yeah. Alpha two. Alpha two. Yeah. No, that's right. It's actually it's the largest. It's, biome we're doing a walkthrough of the thing, the trailer yeah, that they just we're showed. Kind of like the main, oh. Uh, That's a Vec. He's in a Vec. He's in a Vec. Wintry location. And even though we're in the Witherlands, I mean, the Witherlands. Witherlands! It's Witherlands! <laughs> yeah, it's Steam's <laughs> earlier, now Witherlands. The Riverlands, um, that is one of the biomes that can experience uh, kind of really traditional season change, like what we're accustomed to, right? That people are going to see across all four seasons. Yeah, um, I mean, this is kind of, we, we decided to take this to the extremes. Um, so extreme weather, you know. Everywhere from like harsh, snowy, blizzardy kind of environment feels to lush green landscapes. So uh, we decided to tackle the hardest part first, which is making it very, very different between seasons. Yeah, this is. Oh, by the way, I'm playing a Vec right now. Some of you uh, saw the Vec in the character creator, but haven't seen it yet in game. Uh, 
this guy is just wanting to experience the amazing immersive world that you guys have, have created here. Um, okay, so we are we are in the Riverlands and we are currently And this is going to be so we have the Alpha 2 level implementation. This this isn't itself, polished at, at all. This is Alpha stage there's season. No leaves that are on the trees, there's snow that's piling up on the rocks. Um, the ground trees. I mean, go over what kind of what you have to do to transition a biome like the Riverlands into a winter season. Oof. Uh, <laughs> so it's the terrain materials and uh, right? <laughs> so it's on fire with like the What the hell? You know, accept snow the to butt. different rate of different intensity. Lebots uh, is a new term. Well, the same material function Second time you use lebots of them. There's a particle effect that uh, moves with the player camera oh, that wow. uh, handles both snow and rain and any Dang precipitation. It. There's the volume fog that just went away. We saw as it cleared up. The volumetric cloud in the sky has a material that needs to respond to season changes and weather changes. Right. Uh, there's a wind actor. I mean, I could keep going for a while. <laughs> He's <laughs> ready. There's, there's a, a lot. Of, that, uh, suffice to say, there's a lot of stuff that goes uh, into changing a, a region. Wow, oh, look at that ruined castle. Into, ooh, is that a little right? bit of thunder? It is. Oh, oh, take a moment and just uh, enjoy the view. Oh, is this okay? So right now we're transitioning into like a storm, as Great. well as the climate. This has been kind of sped up, right? Look at to that. Showcase this the freaking grass grows off the wow. ground, guys. It's wow, flower density. And bar busher. Holy shit! Oh, oh my snow go. Snow's gone. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is unbelievable. And now we've added some additional particle effects with the uh, with the. Um, Got bugs and butterflies. Yep. Do you think there's going to be like blood splatter on snow? All the leaves now have grown on. I, I hope so. There's a bunch of flowers that are present. James, talk a little bit about done. Like, yeah. kind of how you're determining the flowers that are I'm, I'm sure they'll, you'll be able to turn it on or off. Yeah, um, so you know, there's those <laughs> one of the hardest can't. things to it's... setting this up is essentially making four biomes in one whole season. And, um, and look at the... kind of started with whales the deer chain. A, a reference point. Um, my own, my own oh yeah, the hair oh, color changed when it switched whale, from whale, winter to... Yeah, 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 yeah. that's awful. Oh, I thought you were there horn well, for it too? Are, both are relevant uh, to you, Tristan. Oh, okay. Not as well. only uh, do, are you our lead environment artist, but you also are a very avid professional environment film guy, right? You, I've seen some of your stuff. It's unbelievable. Yeah, um, uh, outside of this kind of stuff, I tend to uh, spend my time filming nature, so it's kind of a appropriate. How, know, of, so how often do you give that to the environment team as reference material? <laughs> uh, not often yet, but I'll be visiting Wales next Make week. Make your hobby into work, work right? <laughs> this is no joke. Tristan got right up into the eyeball of this giant whale. It's crazy. staring right into the camera. That was so cool, dude. That was, that was very crazy. Okay, I've noticed yeah. that the that the animals have changed. The ambient sound has changed, and Cat uh, has done an amazing job with the ambience in, in the Riverlands biome. It is, I feel like I am here. And not only that, but also kept it adaptive for the seasonal changes as well, right? Yeah. Um, I think we also actually missed the winter bear back in the day, or back in the winters of the biome, but that's okay. We'll, oh. we can, we'll see more. another one. There's more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Wanting to trade my child for Ash and Beta or Alpha Key. If you want to continue uh, talking about how you went about uh, the art process for this. Oh, yeah. No, it was just, you know, iterative like all artists, and, uh, you know, Hal, one of our really great environment artists, and myself kind of worked really closely together to try to homogenize everything for the seasons um and i don't know there's not much oh else wow to say. those are beautiful that's <laughs> 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 true do the yeah. flowers bloom at a particular time of they year they do yeah. <laughs> yeah no um yeah all the flowers will you know decay and die in the fall and turn colors and even the animals like kieran right there will shift it's a kieran time of the year oh, i love um, the glow on the kieran's animals. Oh. Good job. Yeah, the that's beautiful. beautiful. Uh, hey, ride one. <laughs> we can probably breed one. I am gonna probably breed. Oh, that's right. So, so part of the relevance life. of this, and you know, not just from a well, you breed one, they'll probably change colors over. But season. well, yeah, what but I. So yeah. unique is the dynamic element of these seasons and the weather systems changing to the behavior actions of the player, right? So. You know, part of the triggers that can create seasonal change is not just time related. 
for each of our biomes, but they are also indicated by events that occur on the server, whether that be certain raid bosses forming or a relic being acquired uh, by a particular node and being activated um, to change potentially the weather out of a winter state. I want one of those casts as a hunting and ally. The reason why a node might have interest in doing that, of course, is because weather and, and the uh, seasons also affect skills and abilities, they affect crops and gatherables, vehicles and mounts, ships, uh, creatures and loot tables change, their behaviors might change, resistances and weaknesses or, or, or synergies might be relevant in certain seasons or weather systems, targeting might change, the AoE radius might grow for a fire effect if you're in the middle of summer, or it might shrink if you're in the middle of a storm. Um, you know, the there's so much that goes into this system. And there's a road, right? Really it's a road, but time. sometimes there's Maybe grass sure or some stuff growing into it or in the middle of it. Both at the quality we want and isn't you know what I'm also almost surprised hasn't happened yet? That I played, trees! You know, you the visual effects kind of playing and you get some rain or you get They're some not real trees. But no. Wait. I was talking about large. trees. I was all worried. I was all cool with the, them losing their lead. And it persists. There. And each of these zones exists in these different states at different times across different servers. I saw those those birds just fly by, and it scared the crap out of me. I was <laughs> like, what was that? You didn't expect that. Um, I yeah. I mean, this is definitely one of the more traditional uh, weather biomes, I guess you could say, in terms of seasons. But we will be taking things a little weird with some of the other biomes as well. I love how the vines are see. growing on the <laughs> roof. Yeah, I think there's yeah. Yeah, yeah, tree. Oh, I see the leaves Please. starting mm -hmm. to spawn. Oh my gosh. And the little <gasps> dust devil. Oh, that looks great. Oh, what the? Oh, boy. oh I love it. Wow. Oh, look how the colors. flowers are transitioning. It's not just going into swat. It's just. And you can still yeah, see some of the flowers. The flowers just kind of wilted and died because they're not. Yeah, even internally. Out of like, flowers. When we showed a very early version of this uh, to the entire company, what, it was maybe like three weeks, four weeks ago, there was Look people that, that were like tree. crying back there. Yeah, that, I, I mean, I'm wow. I like that tree back there. It's a really big one. It looks like Mother Earth. Yeah. yeah. And I just keep getting like goosebumps watching this, thinking, and, and again, just to reiterate, these trans, and I'm sure I've already said this on the stream. Which is tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but these transitions are sped up in order to demonstrate. You know, I like that. I'm sure I already said that. I've already, already said this. Looks like, like, which is tomorrow. Ultimately, these seasons exist on a weekly basis unless they're event driven or have other triggers, right? They might last longer if you don't deal with the and dragon or if you Event do driven or seasonal really changes. Um, but these, these on a cycle, on a, on a cyclical perspective, as a normal season transition might be exist within a one week time frame so right? a year and is a week it transitions over a period of hours um but right now you're seeing it sped up over the course of 30 seconds so a year uh, is a week yeah, correct um, wow. i mean in real time not a season to be almost but a year to, uh, naked eye you know like kind of it does seem rather is, fast uh, in real life. but i guess if you have to farm specific things course, yeah maybe, you know a couple hours maybe half a day Ooh, is that um, a dragon which boss is that? Oh man, it's starting to snow. The ice dragon? But yeah. Oh, look at so the ice the dragon way. actually terraforms so the, the environment. Events will usher in the different seasons as well. So this you'll, is you'll insane. Know the season is going to change um, just based on the weather that's happening. But oh. to the naked eye, you're not really going to see it happening this quickly. Obviously, this is just a, a very visual demonstration of what's. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. There's the bears. There's a bear! Oh, bears. Oh, bears. Oh, that guy's probably cold right now. Uh, yeah, he's, no, he's out here. <laughs> I love the I love uh, the dirty coat underneath the bear. <laughs> it sells it so good. Yeah, currently planning with weather too. Oh, look at that face! I love the Rain ice here. It would be kind of a thing where it snows more often. There's in the, the Karen in the winter. Yeah. Rains more often in the winter in some of the places. Oh, look at the oh, skill effect! I changed my colors to pastel rainbow. Yeah. 
the being able to sa sample the global distance field and the material to be able to have the snow accumulate in the crevices of objects as you know so the carrot does really well with my, and melts away the snow my rig in the crevices last or if it starts to snow then it kind of accumulates in the you know outer areas first and the crevices fill in later kind of thing. so there's or uh, even or even saturate the yeah. Get those Look at that face! Big old face! Big old oh, statue that must have went fast. Like, so even the ground is fast. Water textures all on the ground. To the water. <laughs> That's yeah. so good. You just yeah, watch I mean, the, the, things that makes, like, you the know, stuff melt away. Sorry. Did the wind pick up in the storm? Yep. It did. My it hat did. is going crazy. <laughs> but yeah, like, wow. you know, like, all the elements coming together really sell it. Like, you know, you can take away one of the things and everything. Just kind of falls apart like no wind but in the water just, or the environment just doesn't feel alive but you know add some wind so wind will have active effects on your equipped oh, this gear is beautiful, guys yeah this is unbelievable one of the things that is huge about this season system and how it affects crops and and the gatherables of the game is the impact it will have on the economy Right? Yeah, if you have um, a long a winter. area no longer is capable for a week's period of time or even potentially boats. longer of producing a certain type of crop. Oh, look at the Kieran changing to spring. And that has yeah. to change the across the, the world. The recently. boats! Now the boats the in the face. system of those materials, of those gatherables, they become more relevant and they're subject to potential risk and the prices might go up in certain areas. <laughs> it is something that is actually very instrumental in the overall design of the economy of the game. And speaking of economy, are those two merchant ships? <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows? Like, maybe the strait opens up and suddenly they're able to transport goods. You're on a boat, Kitty! Right. We're playing with the idea of thinking of the rivers and things, but yeah. like, the implications... I could see Kitty playing a swap swap. Like, so I could trap out of the ice. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll on a it boat. Possible. I think you should try. Merchant ship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or even but she wants to do the pirate's life. It's the pirate's life. Since 2017. And such Our... a big component of this. Maybe there's probably definitely going to be a tax on merchant ships. So. I mean, like, Kitty again, the pirate. I say this. I haven't seen this really in any other game. Let alone. What any race would you be, though, Kitty? Where seasons impact so much of the design from a runner for life and part of that also again on the there is going to be a provisioning you might actually be able to make your own rum pass is always closed and so the trade routes on land change with caravans um and that's something <laughs> that can not only exist on woke up way too early also dynamically based on player activity um i mean that that is a very big difference like you know can i play with the wind can i help those ships out a little bit yeah i mean i believe so can, we definitely gave Steven some uh, god mode controls here to <laughs> some more. This I gave him too much so control. Real time way. Oh. As he measures in some Let thunder. there be rain! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is great. I love right, how Kenny? the distance Kenny rub and the visibility changes Woo! in the night. The kind of overhead Oh, I think that's the next along. part of the video. Yeah, the some character, I some know. new. I don't know if they're showing all of that. Uh, no, 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 I mean, so. My watch is telling me get up and walk. No, and watch go away. We can't walk. We have to watch. Oh, I love the grass. We have to watch. Watch. This is crazy. Look at my hair. Or my hat my hair. Is going wild. Like you don't have any I'm hair. You have a hat. When the rain dies down, the sun hits the grass, and it's windy. It looks really. Let me do that. I, I have a, I have some god controls that they gave me for this demonstration. So let me turn the rain off yep. and turn on maybe the wind by itself. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh, look at the Wow, it looks like real, guys. That's what it looks like out in Nebraska when the wind is blowing and the, the golden <laughs> grass is waving. Blueprint so that potentially later it can need to be converted to C++. I like it better in green. Yeah. Or times faster when it goes in C++. <laughs> but basically, the same function is duplicated in two places. So we have it in the materials that uh, generates the noise in Ripple that goes across the player, and in and the, the CPU side of things, merge of the audio the and the, the video of the wind at the play location. Gets Grass is waving at us. So the wind oh, picks wow. up in audio uh, as a wave of. Uh, snow, or a wave of uh, wind uh, passes by the player. 
I'm just going through. I'm going through the seasons like uh, I just did a quick transition for the for the audience to see how much control I have right now. <laughs> even this Ray waving his you know what around. The ability to forward and also reverse. Even. Get a little crazy with it, but. Oh yeah, I see that. He's so drunk on his power. Drunk. I can pause it. Yep. Well, how can I not let him? in? <laughs> God, both. Rump. He's drunk on Kitty's rump. Kitty, Steven drank all your rum. Oh, yeah. Oh, again, look at I love the fog. And the effects now start kicking off the ground. And it's not always going to be the same weather pattern. There's so many different interactions between fog, wind. They can change it's dynamically. Like, yeah, you're not going to get that. Not going to be like, oh, look, that snowflake I saw last week. Yeah. Summer, but when it's winter, it kicks in. Oh, sh we should watch this Kieran real quick. Yes. <laughs> He's like, Do oh. it. So, oh, let's watch it. Turn around and oh, yeah? get the view in the background. Yeah, Follow some of the call. ones down there. Oh, let me go see these Couple guys. Hopefully they... Keep going, Steven. You're always going the wrong way. You're walking around in circles. There they are. All right, I need you guys in the shot. I need you guys to step over here. I just, hey, can you move to the left, please? We need a feeding system where you can just like walk up and like hold out your hand. Or some and, like, type of husbandry come. where I can make my own. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> there we go. He listened. It just took him a second. You can see they did a great job on this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, these are fantastic models. Watch the Kieran change. Oh, Pretty look angry. at them. They change nice. with the seasons. That was fun for me to figure out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks, looks so good. good, James. I want to see the summer. Come see, on. Like, that know, is the summer. Original summer. Oh, that's summer? I thought that was spring. Well, spring and summer kind of are so close. I was just expecting the Kieran to have Now they're phases. green in the summer yes. and they're white and, 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 and pastels in the winter. I'm sure people think we're doing the same thing wow. in the new cinematic, but, you know, no, it's actually happening real time. There's no trickery, no fakery. It's all. Yeah, yeah Kitty, there's husband, animal husbandry. You'll be able to actually. This is the major leagues now. Like breed them, um, and there's four okay, specializations about, for it. Yeah, and there's gonna be four uh, specializations for it. It's crazy. You make mounts. Right you can make beasts of burden. What were the other two? Minions. You can make minions. Um, or you mean pets? You also have oh, pet. the effects interacting with the environment. I forget what the fourth one was. Of I forget what's the one. That was coming down that Adrian did some work on. I can't remember if it was like maybe little fighting pets. Yeah, but there's, there's four different that can be placed on specializations within animal, animal, animal husbandry itself. That it looked like, you know, can you release a single like player a walking simulator? Off of <laughs> right? Can we just walk <laughs> through it? That's all we want. Let's see it dripping more intensely. Um, I think we'll have a tool to auto place that. Pets and minions are basically the same thing, but. In this case, we can have it be hand placed. Just it looks pretty cool. Same thing with the dust devils, the butterflies, the bees, the leaves. Who could put? I'm playing with this wind a little bit. I love the tree movement too. You know, it's it's so funny. In a lot of the games that I played, the wind effects can either look really really good, or they can look really really bad. <laughs> Ain't that <laughs> the truth? Not much in between. But but I like how our trees. You have this variance in movement from the trunk itself to the leaves. How do you guys do that? We actually had to home roll our own solution. So the trees were made in a program called Speed Tree, and we had a little bit of trouble getting the Speed Tree nodes and the, the materials for the trees to function correctly. So we just made our own version of Linux for now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just kind um, of bro. Took the tree position and. A lot of information about the tree is encoded to the uh, UV coordinates. There's about seven or eight you know, UV coordinate spaces. Uh, and each one has like, you know, is it a leaf? Is it a frond, a branch? How far down the branch is it? And we just use that data to drive a bunch of rotations. Um, some of the information encoded in the UV coordinates is what's the pivot point of this branch? So I just kind of rotate around that branch. Yeah, that looks great. And then there were another thing we we're talking about was having like wetness effects and wetness snow effects. pile up on you know, rocks and buildings and stuff. 
that's one thing we're doing for wetness of the terrain. If you look at the dirt path as it gets wetter, and I'm not sure how visible this is because it also gets cloudy and dark and maybe they get stream compression, but as it gets wet, we use the height element of the terrain materials to figure out where puddles should form. And what? It should, you should be able to see it. It doesn't do it so much on a slope, so it might look more visible on a flat terrain. There we go, right here. I see it there. Yeah, it's at the lower areas of the terrain height, it gets kind of glossy like puddles. Sounds oh. like puddles. Oh, that looks great. And a similar thing for snow. Uh, as the snow is melting, it, it evaporates or it is removed from the areas of uh, where there's high material ambient occlusion. Wow. It, it removes it from the high ambient occlusion places uh, less. Um, let me switch to snow. I want to I want to talk a little bit about the building thing here. The building thing. Yeah, so the building I was thing. Say we also had our other artists working on some modular sets and various things that we can use to construct a lot of the ancient ruins of the Ala race that were once here in Ubera before the, the how would you describe it? The event where everyone left? The uh, exodus, the apocalypse, the, exodus, the right. end of the world. Yep. Wait, yeah. hold on. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, this is I an saw. example of like obstructions. Yeah, so in a design, you might not be able to access certain areas. In Wait a minute. But there's something there. Open. Open for me. I command you. <laughs> you might want to. Yeah, there it goes. Yes, melt. Oh, there's oh a boy. door. Why is what it so is bright in there? I don't know. What is going on? Wait a minute. It's like I don't even know if I want to go in there, to be fair. To be fair. Hold on. You might have to change the weather here. We might need to. Wait. Reveal yourself, Snow. I command you to stop. <laughs> I, I feel like there is something. Uh, sometimes during certain seasons. What is that? Oh, oh, no. oh my god. It? Oh, it's a sandal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That is so awesome. We can put that in there. Uh, yeah, that was done by our amazing artist, Hal. She, uh, oh, Hal. I that out real quick for you with a little, nice little inscribed S there. That is so Even cool. Sandal. Oh, that's. That is Steven's sandal. I I'm found pretty sure we're going to auction off like your sandals. I, I found my sandal. <laughs> but I, to be fair, it's missing. Oh, is it a golden there sandal? One? There's, there's two. The sandals come in pairs. So. Wait a minute. I you assume there's some like, uh, mantling. Where is this? Portal. Where is this other? S oh, can I? Man can I? Is this like a little, uh, a little yeah. puzzle? Uh, jump puzzle? Little jump, little jump yeah. puzzle for you. Little jump puzzle. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Wah. Let me up. Hero would have a yeah, field so day with this shit. Yeah. Just a bit of parkour. So, you know. oh, parkour! Oh, and there are climb mechanics right. too, so. Oh, no, I think it's to your left there. You can get it either way. There's always oh, oh my oh. god! Ah, oh, just barely. A small heart attack. Skin of my teeth. Put me up here. Oh, there's stairs. It's dark. I can't see. Oh, it is a little dark right now. Ooh, Getting there lighter. we go. Okay. Lumen's kicking I in. I found it. Yeah. I think I have found it. <laughs> the other oh, golden oh, slipper. <laughs> my other sandal. <laughs> Collector's editions. Yes. Sandals. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. <laughs> that is awesome. That's great. Well, I have to say, back when we talked about seasonal changes and weather systems. <laughs> You're never going to make progress because you're going to be jumping all the time. You're going to be jumping on everything. Elements and Can you imagine? Farming econ from I doing jumping puzzles. Remember that we show like, off the kind of, you know, how do you make so much money? I jump and I find we things. I jump and I find things. And we probably actually just showed that on the stream. Long then we'll have to make uh, him a cup that says I jump and I find things. Um, I, I never thought that it would come to this level of quality. Yeah, in fact, when I first kind of faked this kind of seasonal tech, faked <laughs> before the Kickstarter even happened, I think. Uh, a little intimidated myself. But right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the prototype that we that we did, like that was, there were significant challenges of, yeah. of making that possible. But Sandal PTSD this, childhood this confirmed. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Big shout out to uh, James and Hal and Brian for cranking out all the biome stuff, and then Brandon and Adam for cranking out these amazing ruins. Scott for the new trees too. Scott, yeah. Scott Allen, our new foliage 
go to guy is he loves the that skill. Yes, those big also. ash trees. Don't I like my that god one. Powers. I have god powers. If this is not powers, you will have players. This is just what I can do. <laughs> and also, not to uh, forget, uh, Hans, our new landscape master, he's uh, he took a swing at this landscape for us and did us some of the epic views. He even is such a troll. All yes, around, he uh, is. Amazing job by everybody. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were all pretty. pretty I'm pretty sure it's we a initial meetings. It's a oh, skill. Yeah, you yeah, just can't spam it like he is. Well, you guys really are dynamite team. Yeah, you guys have done a, a tremendous, a phenomenal job. I think the community will let you hear this in chat. Um, that this is a next level presentation for Nerf it, you OP. <laughs> environment, really, in an MMO that I've ever seen. And not to forget, of course, like, you know, that's not just us, but also, you know, the entire effects team, our new audio artist. Yes. Uh, I didn't think that they could really talk guys. And, and they and probably can't top the elves for me at least in character creation. This is actually still the great thing about but our development that I that I personally love is that we phenomenal. invite the community to watch. And right? it's alpha and two. Over the years, they can go back and they can look at our. Though I'm not going to set the bar much higher than this. So if they wow me again, I'll be okay with that. Time, right? <laughs> and that's the cool thing about art. It's I mean, it's how can you set a bar higher than what we've never seen? Right. I'm just like. Tweaking and touching up i guess it's just the touch up you know because it, it looking at this it is a little stiff here so like yeah it is it, that well that's what i said that's probably where they could make it better but other than that it's just it's also a homegrown application i know i i'm not yeah. saying I know you're not go ahead I'm yeah, saying how impressive so they, impressive it is that they well, wrote their own this, wind environment like, wow, application, this and but this is how good it looks in this, alpha yeah, state. Each other video to show us, you know, up up on the, the way to Probably have to like study yeah. real wind yeah. currents yeah. and how wind yeah. actually yeah. acts. <laughs> Getting the best of everything. Yes, it helps that one of the guys like is that. an environmental <laughs> filmographer. That's very cool. Well, we are going to go back to stream, but everybody, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. You enjoyed yeah, I wanted you to go further over that because way. Because this is stuff that we are constantly yeah, working on, as we said. And we Stayed have in this area for far too long. Artists at Intrepid, and by the way, we are hiring. So if you have any favorite devs or projects out there that you know of, please send them our way, IntrepidStudios.com. Um, this, I cannot express enough just how excited I am to live inside of Vera. And I think I think that our community uh, is chomping at the bits to live there with me. Uh, is gonna be our us. new world. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. I was just gonna say, like, I, I mean, we could probably just sit here and let this run for ten hours straight and oh, put it on YouTube totally and can you imagine monetize going on it or something like that. Huh? I mean, monetize it? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna take me on a picnic. Yeah. 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 This ten hour like ambient loops, you know. Um, oh can't even get him to take me on a picnic in real world, guys. He's gonna take me on a picnic in back to the conference room and it was still running and it was still windy and it was perfect it was just like oh wow it's you know still oh, alive yeah. and running absolutely <laughs> and then we have to worry about the bears coming after our <laughs> after our picnic <laughs> basket oh yeah only if you make apple pie it's kind of um yeah but don't make apple pie you know great to just when you're working just or honey don't break honey I can't have honey for our tea. The bears will be over <laughs> who needs to go out for dinner go to Vera. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. We are going to see you guys back on stream. Uh, Tristan, James, Brian, thanks for hanging out with me and explaining your really cool, amazing job at making Vera a place that we all want to live in. Um, I cannot express enough how much I appreciate the work that you guys do to making this dream a reality and how much our community loves it as well. Um, it's the so safest thank way you for to touch us. grass. Thank you for all your hard work. Huh? Uh, said it's the safest way to touch Tristan, grass. Brian, James, and all of the team on the environment side, on the art side, everybody. Right? Big thick ants, mini boss. I will see you guys <laughs> back on stream shortly. All right, see you. Bye, everybody. Bye. I want them to start making. I want a. I want an ashes of creation hoodie. I'm not crying. Mert. No, the heart. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so sweet. The team works. <laughs> very hard. <laughs> there are a lot of lot of hard work going into Ashes, and very proud of the team uh, from the start of this year. I think you guys are are in for a treat for what's to come, um, and it is it is our pleasure to do this hard work for you guys because at the end of the day, that's why we're here.
right? Um, so we appreciate you guys tuning in and giving us your hearts and, and giving us your feedback and being a part of this development journey. It's been a long journey and there's still a way to for go, lunch, stay for at dinner. The end of the road, there is going to be something Have that to I beat think that. is pretty special. Um, and you guys get to see it every step of the way. So kudos to everybody on the team. Intrepid, you guys, and they're having a little watch party in the rec room. We love John, you. J John got some pastries and some cookies for you guys. Hopefully you, you they didn't all get snagged up too fast, but you see this community and how how impressed they are with the work you're all doing. Very, and, very, very exciting. And we all get to play it too, so that's <laughs> that's our reward as much as their reward. But there were some questions in chat that I wanted to uh, get sure. answers on. Some of them we might not have answers right now, but I'm tossing them Steven's way. We'll see All if right. we can. <coughs> but kid is an answer. I'll just pass it on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but we'll All right. See. The first one here is from Julian Ake. We really gotta update our in advance if I emote. get your names wrong. Uh, they ask, will the vegetation spawn be static, or will it look different after every iteration? So, like as seasons change, will those vegetation? Um, yeah, it's it's possible. Um, I. We can get clarification on this afterwards, but I believe that um, <coughs> from the what do you think will be easy, Rocky? We unmask certain vegetations on certain cycles of seasons, right? And that way we get a little bit of a variance. Um, but ultimately, <coughs> they need to be placed, right? These aren't dynamically or procedurally. Yeah, and I think that's the other element of, of it is like if the mushroom spawns here every spring, is it going to spawn in that same spot? Is kind of what they were. Right. No, you could you could have a few spots that only activate during certain cycles, um, and that way you could get some variance. But they won't be procedurally spawned, right? They it, it, they will be painted by the by the artist. All right. And then the next one is from Eris PDX, <laughs> and they want to know: Does it also affect node uh, resources? Killing your bear. So um, let's say you know you have a or we'll bring, bring one of our pets like to guard our picnic. You have trees that spawn, and now it's changing. Is it going to affect what kind of resources I'm gathering? Absolutely. So <clears throat> it won't likely affect too much on the on certain resource spectrums like veins of ore, right? Those might not be um, <clears throat> might not be affected by the seasons or weather systems, but there might be blockages to cave networks that house those types of ore uh, veins. Um, alternatively, it is going to be significant impact on any type of herbology. Or, um, the economy. Herbology, you know I love herbology. I'm just going to be... Guys, I'm in trouble. The economy in this game is going to be crazy because there's going to be seasonal crop placement no and it's resource shortages um, window yeah so that it's harvestable and coffee is harvest going to go insane the in change here. of seasons that might adversely affect certain types of crops and not every i'm in trouble will i love herbology i love farming i like animal husbandry so will, will this give you your farming and building fix probably not the buildings not the build well no you build your your estate so I don't know if we're gonna have to build it. We haven't gone. They haven't gone to that amount of detail about your state yet, but. As those. But I know you have to pick what you're doing, and you have to put them, you know, in certain areas. Other regions to bring those goods via caravan to your locations. Why? Because the prices might sell there higher, and that's going to naturally incentivize those providers to bring their supply to this location so they can get a higher return on their work. Now, of course, that carries risk, and that's partly why that value goes up, is because they're assuming that risk in moving those goods over. And it creates a, a very interesting dynamic in fluctuation for the economy mm -hmm. um, and, and relevance that certain- I just love that he's getting all the way down to like the economy and the governance and religion and and putting all of those things in so that they counter, they interact and counter act with each other. It's just, yeah, they're called freeholds, right? That's our yeah, freeholds. Will there be animals that are more likely to come out through the different seasons or like will animals Absolutely. hibernate, things like that? Yeah, one of the things that the, <coughs> excuse me, one of the things that the seasons <laughs> and weather techs provide. Rocky is going to be our brute. For the spawners within a particular area. Uh, they tell those spawners to spawn different types of creatures that are more. You know, we're probably all gonna have like a bunch of alts, um, so we can do everything. Yeah, that's why I said I'm in trouble. 
um, <clears throat> like the bear in the cave uh, during winter. I think I'm going to love this game, um, even though you know, the crafting that, that is like limited. I can't do everything on one character, but it seems like it's going to be so, more, so much more meaningful. It's not but just crafting the, gear. Well, the, the, point of, the, the point that he said, you don't have to. So you can have alts that are just crafters for each craft that you want. And they can level just from crafting. Yeah. So, if they keep that in there, I don't know what they do. So, so that you can have your alts. You could have your one that you're also a crafter on, but that's your, your combat character as well. Based on how the spawners populate those, those areas, yes. right? Um, this alcove might now have a, a bunch of new types of monsters that are like AoE focused. And you might want to bring in your trouble. AOE team there during winter because you can get that spot in this hunting ground. Especially if they like a, they have a paper maker. That little spot. Oh, the they have a paper maker. I'm gonna have a scholar. She's just gonna be so nerdy. There's gonna be books everywhere. It gives a little bit of what? change. So does that mean Oz wears a scholarly colored clothing to distract the mercenaries? Really yeah, he's the flag. Um, and I think MMOs being a persistent virtual world where you exist at all times, um, it's nice to have a little bit of dynamicism there, right? To have something that changes. Well, the permanency of the cha of the effects that you have on the world is not something that you see with very often. A lot of it is very much like a theme park where you go and like there are things that are there and they change, but like, and you can change actions to make those things happen, but they're not necessarily in the same way that, you know, we're implementing them. Uh, a follow-up question uh, someone else had that is kind of pertinent to that question is from Mr. Silver and they want Mr. Silver 31. And they want to know, does this allow for like herding of creatures? <coughs> so let's say there are deer, but maybe in this other biome there aren't deer. Can I herd deer into that area no. now there are? No, you can't really herd uh, NPCs like that. Um, we do have, thing. yeah, I mean, we have leash. Leashes are relevant. There's there's other gameplay implications that happen when you're able to actually move populations around. We don't want to really imp give that to the player's perspective there. Um, but with that being said, we do have the concept of herds. And that's a little bit of a different gameplay system. So that again goes back to resources and gatherables. Herds are a source of certain types of wild gatherables. But they're in animal form and they're animated, right? And they exist in like, you know, a group of the golden fleece sheep that uh, might only spawn very rarely in certain hillsides, right? And only during spring. And if you can find that vein, so to speak, of resource, you can interact with the herd and you can gather from them. I don't want to miss um, anything, can, but um, I have to use the rest you know, of them. Process uh, some other things. So herds exist in that sense. Go. Not what they were describing where you can actually manipulate the population yeah. movement of the world. Um, and then the next question here, let me sharpen up here, uh, was from OK Pandi Pandioka. Wanted to know, uh, is the grass going to move out of the way or like look like it, it stepped on? Um, so for instance, there will if be I land there or rush in, will the grass move with my momentum? I, I don't think I don't think we'll do that on the grass, the blades of grass. <clears throat> but um, I don't know, I might be wrong on that. I'll chat with environment on but. Um, there will, however, be player collision capsules that do interact with plants. So, like, as you move through a plant, you're not just going to go straight through the plant. Like, it will move around on the client for you. Like, you'll see that plant move because you intersected with it and, and passed through it. Um, so there is there is collision with foliage there. But I'm not sure if it's going to be as granular on blades of grass. We do have footprints and footsteps, right? And those mm -hmm. you can see even in the video. You can see them on the dirt surfaces. You can see them on the um, snow surfaces. Um, yeah. And then the next question is from Jawa Chief, and they wanted to know, can we get snow effects on our armor in the winter? Because the I think they noticed that the bear had snow on him, and he shook it off, and people yeah, were really we, excited we, about we that. Were, we were talking about that early on. There, there are some performance implications when we try to um, show... Uh, I already had on one. Just in case. The last it, time I grabbed myself it upset my stomach. Okay. Moving in a lot and finally getting to the normal point. So I haven't been as animated to try to let my stomach that are wanting to talk settle out as I did. Um, and we've had yet to go through their proposal uh, review. 
Um, Definitely performance. So, yeah, I know. Performance would be a little crazy if they like let snow gather on your shoulders or on your head. So. Generation technology with our application of Unreal Engine 5, which by the way is a great engine and Epic is, a, is an incredible company. Um, well, people are saying, well, what about if it was just client side, like only uh, on the client side yeah. versus like server oh, yeah, side? Yeah, you could totally do it, but then there's rendering costs, right? Mm -hmm. um, and if you're seeing many players with that, I mean, obviously that's something you can scale, you have scalability for. Um, but again, you know, it's it's a it's a not not an easy amount of work to do to make that happen. All right, and my last one here is a little troll. Is it true that you have two right feet? <laughs> no, it is not true that I have two right feet. It's trolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to throw that one in. Just the chat was cracking me up. I'm like, you can't run past anything for them. They they notice all the little details that those were two right foot sandals. Um, <laughs> the next thing, and the environment team's not done. They have more stuff for you. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you, and I don't know if you want to preface a little bit about the Alien City. I don't even know what we're seeing. The Alien oh, City stuff. Oh, oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, yes, so this is, now you'll be seeing more as we get closer to Alpha 2, uh, but this will give you a little bit of insight to the capital city of the Alien Empire prior to the Exodus. Um, and this is one of the starting areas that players enter into. This will be the s one of the starting areas in Alpha 2. Um, and there's a lot oh. of stuff going That's on. That's crazy. Like water guys, falls, I can't wait to statues, show you guys this. Bridges, like bridges that should can't wait to experience the harbor. So, it's, it's killing me. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. I'm excited. <laughs> And of course, moving on from there, we do have some stuff to show off from our character, our team as well. So I'll toss on, I'll toss this. I love those. By the way, I just, I just want to say. Want those, Kenny? Um, back in. When did we do the character? That's the color I like. Was that February? Or was that February? February. Favorite color. So that, 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 that green's that good. Time I said, look, one of the great with the white with the pale color is you get to start seeing art do a lot more passes on the stuff that we got stood up very quickly in the uh, in the early days of the project. And <clears throat> I told you that um, from a quality bar perspective, this is getting near, you know, what we would be comfortable with on a shipping perspective for the project when we launch, right? And when you see concept art like that city, I just want you to imagine the quality bar we've set for the characters with the character creator, the quality bar you just saw for environments and weathers and seasons that are present in the game. And now expand that out across the cities that you've experienced and other MMOs and the points of interest and the dungeons. And, you know, we, of course, we don't want to reveal all the magic of the game through our development updates. We want to give you updates that, you know, keep you abreast of kind of progress and, and, and what Yeah, don't show me everything. Um, but there's going to be a lot of discovering and adventure that's in Ashes of Creation, and it's going to be at a quality level that I think is going to blow a lot of people's minds. And we'll show some little teasers of, you know, dungeon crawls. Maybe not all of them, but some of them we can see. <laughs> um, but stay tuned. We got plenty more for you all to look at. Um, and of course, this is the Kirin you saw oh, them. Uh, this is one of Jinsi's amazing creations. Um, this is the summer and winter versions. And you got to see that transition. Like That means there might be rain. fall and just spring versions. Mind -boggling huh? awesome. There might be um, fall fall and spring like versions. Chat lost lost their their marbles during that um but i do have a joke for you steven this comes to you from mike vecchio i'm ready our graphics uh -oh. designer oh uh, no he says why is she named kieran why is she named kieran um i don't know does she ask to speak to you to to your manager oh my <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> it's too funny. Uh, I was like, I'm sharing that with Steve because it's too funny. Uh, next up, we've got, and I, I feel the chat would love it. Uh, the next one we have is from Eli, the cloak Ooh, look of at the that. Suicide Ma. Our, our like, social media fish traps is like, or fish no, holders. No, that's a backpack. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it's a. It's, like it's for the um the jungle dwarf. It's just the face of the cure. They're like, cute, but the Kieran's so cool. I know. It I think is. it's just a cloak. Like the I don't know. Oh, it's a backpack. Um, but yeah, this it's is a cloak, the suicide ma goodness, uh, and I believe we have. It's a fish there. mouth with a bracer along the chest. It's like a it's shark, shark mouth. And this yeah. seaweed. That's crazy. Yeah, it is very cool. And the detail, of course, on these is is next level. Love it. Yeah. 
I love Pokefish. They have to be stinky though. <laughs> Fish start to stink after a while. <laughs> it, it it looks like they're hung there, so they just hook yeah, it to their cloak when they come back, and then they <laughs> then they take it back and they take them off and cook them for the night. And go get new ones tomorrow. What if I like accidentally tripped and I fell forward and the teeth like pierced my jugular? This is this is where Stephen's mind goes. Uh, I'm just trying we... to think why I would wear this. You know, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, the next one we have is the royalty outfit. We had a lot of questions regarding this, so here you go. Uh, this is another one that Eli worked on, which looks... Because I mean, <laughs> they're humans. Um, it looks beautiful, but I don't want to walk around like royalty. As well. But some people want to play royalty, so they should be able to. And then their castle can get sieged. Yep. And they fall from royalty. But again, fall from grace. Peasants. I'm more concerned about her shoulders piercing someone else. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's a defensive weapon. There you go. Um, and then, from the one and only Keith, we have Forest Druid action. Forest Druid! You get to kind of see this being created and modeled and spin all the textures. And then I do have Oh, yeah, this guy's buttons. creepy. I like him. You may see him in a forest near you if you don't respect the area. Ooh, can you give us a little Ooh. bit more design <laughs> details or Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying. He, okay. he is a he is a shepherd of the woods. Yes. Very cool. Hey, watch you'll be a droid. And then these are kind of the different right? variants that you can see. <laughs> they're they're saying druid, but yet there's no druid class. No, yeah, I know. Like, they should have given him some like underwear. He's a little a little Nike. A little Nike. <laughs> He's ready for Node 3. I love the, the effects on the branch. <laughs> joke in the community where they would say send me. Whatever they're oh, deciding the for that stuff. The okay, that went over yeah. my head for a moment. <laughs> I got you. That makes 100% now. I'm probably going to be Cleric Ranger, though. Very cool. Love the emissives on the staff. So oh, that's gonna look we'll great. see. I'm going to play around with it in Alpha because I, I was thinking Cleric Summoner because of Shaman, but then I was like, how does that work? Yeah, no. Like what was the name of Cleric Ranger? Was that the soul bow? I think that's the soul bow. You know, movement in the forest. Good deal. I'm gonna hop in our Discord and try to find that chart again. To our final Q and A here, and then we'll be wrapping it up. So we're all full on the questions. We've got our first one is from Lash, which is regarding PVP. I didn't move it in there. Yes. Didn't move it there. Not good. But their question awesome. is, will PvP activities with a deactivated death penalty rewards, uh, d death penalty... Kitty, do you still have the class chart from when you were doing research? Yes. Huh? Uh, there will be a diminishing return. Remember when Kitty was doing the research oh. project on Ashes? If you still have the class chart, can you pop it in the AOC chat under gaming? And then Talents wants to know about combat. If not, I can find it. What changes yeah. are you I was just wondering if she had it internally that will make combat in alpha 2 different from the combat in alpha 1 probably got rid of all that lot, stuff but uh, yeah, that's awesome. a, that maybe you could a, give us five things that are going to be different or two uh, sum it down uh additional archetypes uh significant additional support from the functionality Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> augment systems we're playing around with um we are implementing our new right <laughs> kitty i was like i can find it Loop motion slash flip I really gotta kind of start narrowing down the, the, the few that I want to actually try. I know my main's probably gonna be a healer type because oh. the available in alpha two that wasn't in alpha one. Got it. But there's Give a him. lot. <laughs> and there's more than that. He's just given us quick quick rundown. Uh, then we have Drunk Ninja who wants to know about naval combat. Hopefully you're not drinking and driving your boat at the same time. When it comes to your systems for ship hijacking, how can we take control of another player's ship? And do we get to keep that ship? I know I don't want to actually expand on this too much because <laughs> I think this is going to be great material for the future. Um, but essentially, to answer your question, yes. There will be lots of things. Uh, yes to both questions? Yes to hijacking? Yes to you get to keep the ship? Oh, you can't keep the ship. Okay, no, no, no. You, you can destroy the ship, but right, you can hijack the ship. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can't keep the ship. That'd be crazy. It's like some GTA naval fantasy game. Yeah, you just like punch him off the board, and they're like, Boom. "Bye some now." Game d- yeah, <laughs> let's get a, a, a sea of thieves. Oh, mod. <laughs> Cleric Ranger was actually <laughs> Protector. Uh, Is it Protector? Okay, yeah. that makes yeah. more sense. Um, <laughs> shout out to them. You guys are great. They um, get there. But yeah, you can you can definitely steal ships and destroy them, and then take what they had on them. Oh, <laughs> it's so <laughs> tiny. It is about day and night cycles from that. Uh, the soul bow was the ranger oh cleric. Right. Uh, they want to know with their I mean, read it. cycles being. It looks horrible. It does look horrible. I pulled it off the wiki. Being fifteen iron horrible. minutes. Can I'll find a bigger one see. eventually. Cleric fighters are awesome. Oh, there's also a chart. Not on the wiki. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, so those those numbers are from a while ago. They may change a little bit. I'm not going to say they're going to change. The ranger cleric the is the soul, though. So if I had ranger um, first. Yeah, so weeks per season. Um, cleric mage being an oracle might be kind of cool, to too. But and cleric cleric high priest. What the heck is a cleric? Oh, yeah, that's a um, uh, bard is a what? Friar? I can't think. Uh, harvestables and crops. Um, mechanics are. Yep, Scryer. Um, so we want there to be a relatively six, cyclical... But we have a possible bard, so I really don't have to go that way. Um, that, that so... Be indicated by how seasons interact and crops and I'm probably going to protect our oracle. Those are probably... Or shaman. Those are probably the three I'm going to... I know he was actually considering Siren, the bard tank. Affect oh, that the makes biomes sense. For and him. the change in or... weather have on dungeons, raids, and other non instance mm-hmm. events, as well as their loot. Will their loot change? I just updated so, the wiki link in the uh, AOC chat on our Discord. Can affect, that's a more uh, Because that picture sucked. Uh, so that's something that we're going to be uh, playing with. I was like, I uh, can't. Nothing. It might be present in Alpha Read it. The actual effects on the abilities, and it, or it might not. But, um,. That's one component. Second component, it might restrict access to a particular area, um, so that the that raid hall might not be available during winter unless some something is done, right? Um, oh, that's it much. might also. <laughs> um, I can actually uh, read the sucker. Uh, affect um, the mechanics of the boss. Uh, what types? No, I think I'm gonna have to make me a deep favors in one season over another. And that could add a little bit of, of dynamicism to the encounter. But that so will that be. It, it might be that or Falcon or really mechanics. You can always you change your secondary. And those very I know, but my primary is all. So that one's going to be cleric. Um, I'm going to be some so type of healer. Yes. I'm probably going to want to make it all that's just oh, okay. a straight up deep guess. So. Gotcha. Um, not, not probably and it might be a summoner, because I do, you know, to run around by yourself being a summoner, if, if it works that way, it would be really. The time of season potentially, or. The advancement of story arcs and the sorry the next one is from uh, as a here and they want to know about family summoning can a corrupted player use the family summon system to call their family mm. or not going to comment on that yet um again uh this is something in the past that um you know have had ideas about and there's a, a reason for those types of systems to exist but at the same time um Ashes of Creation is very dependent on movement across the world um, and limiting that movement. I like that he wants to limit movement so you can't just be 10,000 miles away from where you started. Uh, and so, you know, it's something we're going to test. We have a few ideas. We're probably you actually have to as part of Alpha Peak go there. A bit, um, <laughs> and see uh, how it changes no the state of player behavior. Yep. And then we've got a combat question from Sorf. How will ground target spells like the cleric hollowed ground work underwater? Will no ground with no ground to put the spell on? That's a good question. Actually, we had some prototyping that I believe we did um, a few months ago, perhaps hollowed actually, bubble um, on the design team, and thought about how to use um, template-based abilities uh, that might be normally telegraphed with a decal system on top of you know terrain or whatever um, in 3D space combat, like water or air. Um, there's a few combat? things that can be done yeah. um, on that front. You can have a scroll of the dragon in you the 3D space get with a template effect out. that lives. Saw that, that dragon combat. flying all the yeah, way Yeah, but there. I thought they said they were limiting flying. They are. After they are limiting so flying. That one is a good one, but we have a but that doesn't mean that they won't put uh, like uh, some sort of mechanic in game where you get on a bird that's not really yours. Still underway on the decision for that. 
And then three other brother uh, wants to know about caravans. When a player goes to hire NPC mercenaries, do they hire another severe thunderstorm warning? Like warrior, it's been a year already for weather. Of NPCs or archetypes NPCs like hail. summoner cleric. We had hail. Never get hail here. Talking yeah. about um, with the caravansary uh, building, um, having upgrade paths, or at the barracks having upgrade paths um, for the node to invest into that gives greater selection of roles that you can hire for your caravan. Um, or for quality of items that the guards who come as mercenaries might have available to them. Um, It'd be cool if they were like actually like NPCs like Chad the Warrior, and he's like oh, won like two ones? championships and like so, he costs so we'd more. Call those, but... Yeah, we'd call those heroes, <laughs> right? Those yeah. would be hero mercenaries, gotcha. and hero mercenaries would be the top of the Chad the Warrior. Path. Chad you know, the they'd Warrior. start out with like a warrior, you know, or an adept. And when you invest more into your barracks through construction materials, taxation, and upgrade paths that the mayor and the and the citizens participate in, I love that you there's that additional one. higher levels and more specific community thing. Levels. You're building then, a, um, a city once together. You have, um, unlocked the height of that path, you might gain access to things like heroes who are named people um, ah, that would only be available for certain caravans. Right, so like if the if they it's first come first serve. If you're going to launch a caravan and that hero is available for that for that caravan, you'll get them for X amount of time and then they become available again. Anyways, it, it's spitballing just kind of the idea. Red Karen. Past about this system. Not Red Karen. Someone in chat put the name Red Karen up as a person. Red Sonia, thank you. Um, but it Chad is, the warrior, Karen the cleric. <laughs> with upgrades and building types and new caravans is really cool. And then Nick wants to know about enchanting, and their question is, is enchanting itself an artisan pr profession or something else entirely? Mm. Enchanting is not an artisan profession, no. It is created by uh, uh, a few different professions participate in the creation of enchantment scrolls. Those enchantment scrolls are primarily going to be interfaced on the profession side with scribe, um, oh no, there's a scribe! We're so in trouble! Are you gonna make your, um, oh. are you gonna make an Imperial, uh, Imperian Elf scribe? Right. And Golid wants to know about boss fights. This is our final question. How challenging oh. will raid boss mechanics be given? Oh guys, given so in trouble. May need to Herbologist. Simultaneously fight other players oh. while also fighting the boss. I'm probably gonna have to have a work Herbologist. So the great thing about our encounter or Nikua one has a wide scale um, from encounters <clears throat> that some might consider easy given their composition. Yeah, but uh, the pyrite could be a neurologist too. Right, so Kitty? That that's pretty much what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, the I don't so much. I like. I don't mind leatherworking and I don't mind woodworking, but my favorite things are like scribe, oh, no. alchemist, oh, no. herbologist, oh, no. those just types of things. So. Character concept. Uh, what? Who? What? You did, um, Chris. Look at uh -oh. that. especially the the big ones that might land. Most fierce of fierce than all. Oh no! <laughs> you have to do it, Chris. You have to. Contested, um, because it is. A and you gotta find all the sandals. And yep. You gotta find all the sandals. Um, that's your. That's the goal. In his life, his his esteemed goal is to trek across all lands and find all the sand dolls. I wonder if they're going to leave the sandals in ashes in Alpha, or if they're, they're just going to put them there to troll Steven. I think that it was said that because of he lost the sandal, and this was like a really real thing. And so that became a whole meme, and I think that they're going to put right them in there. Yeah. All right. And with that, that's all. That's it. That's I think they're going to be oh in the game. I I know. Like we'll see, the, though. After the, uh, I didn't really get a character. Or we should, we should the mic. Right. No. Uh, not a visual yeah, one. He, they were talking the about it, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we still they're not showing it yet because it's not, not ready. It's not ready. Some of your burning questions that you have. Um, if but that environment update answered, was amazing. Our community team, Cody and Rai, are amazing. They go through every single question and give answers to ones that we have already answered, as well as if your question didn't get picked, they will let you know, like, hey, you know, submit this for next month's stream, and maybe you'll get chosen for that. So we really appreciate all their hard work in regards to that. Um, and of course, uh, if you That's so funny. is Margaret single over and left us feedback yeah, on still. RNG and what kind of RNG you like and don't like, 
what you'd like to see in Ashes of Creation, what you'd like to not see, um, please go over to our forums and give us a little little feedback in that thread. We will be wrapping up that and getting that over to the to the development team shortly as well. So get them in while you can, and we'll have more of those coming down the line as we go. I believe we had a little discussion regarding enchanting, and it's gotten so crazy that now we're like, well, we're gonna put together. You're slashing, Booba. For that as well for our team. Um, I'm slashing. I'm slashing. I'm like getting closer. It was like we're gonna chat for fun. Turned into like. You know what? This is actually solid Thank feedback you. for the design team. We're going to send it That's over. Um, and of course, we do have our Windswept Wonders cosmetics. If you'd like to grab those and help us build the world of Ashes of Creation, <laughs> yeah. every single one of those okay. helps us create more empty. You, you better make a ding with that. Family. We're going to have to make an alarm for that so we actually hear it. Um, you're, you're, I don't know that you'll be able to hear it if you're not watching us. the stream, though. Um, whether you're watching us here live on Twitch, but you can and holler it right here. If you're watching us over on YouTube, but hit the subscribe button, and of course the like an audio or associated with command. Yeah. who are amazing. We're gonna make some cool audio. Bring the try it. to life. We hope that you all stay safe. That'll be us. Give us a follow on all of Epidemic Sounds has been making a lot of money off of us because we haven't been right using any of uh, It's okay, but I don't want to we'll stop it and no. forget we'll it. So. Okay, videos for you for the cinematic and also the dev. I want to make. I want to find a song. We'll have the development for you. That as our own. On Saturday, as per usual. And of course, I haven't on found the one. Instagram. Yeah. We post daily. We always give you cool little snippets. So if you're not following us over there, definitely do so. And we will see you next month for another development update. Thank you so Woo! much. Thanks, and we will do our best to make sure we can do one of these streams every month for the dev update. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I have to make you leave work early. Well, this week it is. It, it'll get it'll be harder when I'm not doing what I'm having to do right now right now with what I'm having to do it's easier to leave early on a Friday and so thank you everyone who joined us for this little adventure thank into you guys wa watching the ashes dev update we are going to be hosting this on our YouTube channel you can find the links to our socials in the channels below also don't forget we will be streaming Saturday yep tomorrow Bay and I are getting married in Final Fantasy, so we're going to start stream. Oh, okay. Distracted, but. I want that. I don't care. I don't know which, which or which. But what we were saying, we're going to start the stream at noon tomorrow to give us an hour to set everything up. The actual wedding will begin at one. And will last for two hours. If you have a character on Mateus in Final Fantasy, let us know either in the Discord or on any of our social medias, and we will try to get you an invite. Yep. And until we see you then, have a good time zone. Have a good time zone, every guy, everybody, guys. Whatever. Every guys. Every guys. Oh, the warps are looking really good. This is the character update. It's not part of it. Copy. Oh, yeah. Did that say fate of sorrow or fate of sorrow? Oh, fate. Wait, wait! I saw F A E. I think we're probably gonna end up watching this until they actually turn off. This yeah, video. probably. I want this one. Oh, it's just looped? Yeah, it's looped. Everyone? And it stopped. Oh, and it stopped. Hi, guys!